Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to show you a pretty easy and inexpensive way to make a portable and reusable power pack that can be used to charge all of your different devices on the go. Yeah, there's just no two ways about it. We live in a day and age where there are a lot of wireless devices that are rechargeable. And if you're like me, you're invariably running into the situation where something runs out of power when you don't have an opportunity to plug it in and recharge. So before I actually begin the build, I wanted to provide this visual to show you what connections will be made and how I'm going to go about making them. And yes, while you could pick up a cheap one of these power packs somewhere, I have a little add-on, this little plug connector, that makes this a little bit of a game changer. You may have seen in some of my previous videos that I salvage rechargeable batteries from other devices that are no longer worth using, such as laptop batteries. So what I'm doing here is creating a power pack where I can actually bring extra batteries along with me and keep hot swapping them out to keep recharging devices without having to recharge my charger. Do you want to know a little bit more detail about the parts being used in this build? Well, I will get to some of that in this video as we go through it, but I'll also put more information in the description below. And I've done prior videos where I walk through a lot of these pieces in much greater detail. I will make sure that those links are below as well, and I'll put a reference point to that in the video in just a few moments. The part I'm using here is called a buck converter, or step-up converter. There's a key detail to note about this. You need to get one that matches the output power needs of the devices you want to charge. This little piece puts out the 5 volts that most USB devices need, and 1 amp of current. However, most cell phones now require the 2 amps, so this won't be best for the new model cell phones, but it works for the devices that I'm going to be using it on. More on that topic in just a moment, but for now, let's get our project box ready. So while I'm waiting for this little iron to heat up, let's look at some more information you can find about these parts. I have a previous video that walks through all of these parts being used today in much greater detail, as well as some similar projects that were done without using a step-up converter. Also, I have a video on how to find rechargeable batteries for free. Links to all of those are in the description below. This little project box that I'm using, I did buy online, but you don't have to buy anything for this kind of a project. In fact, I'm only using this one so that it would be clear to make it easier to show you what I'm doing inside of the container. However, if I were just making this for my own general purposes, I'd probably grab an old plastic or maybe even a tin that was used for mints or gum or something else like that. Just note that whenever I do a project like this in a tin, such as maybe like an Altoids tin, I do make sure to use some kind of non-conductive material like plastic or foam paper to put between the container and my components. That way there's no risk of shorting anything out. So, coming back to the power requirements. This little step-up converter puts out the 5 volts and 1 amp that I mentioned before. To decide what you need, look at the back of the wall wart or plug that came with your original device. Look at the output specs, and then simply add that into a browser search. In this case, step-up converter, 5 volts, 2 amps. And you'll find lots of options to purchase the one that you would need for that device. And I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times, but you really do need to be careful when you're connecting your lithium ion batteries to make sure that positive goes to positive and negative goes to negative. Even if you just let the wires coming off the battery touch, you could fry the battery pretty quick. And you don't want that. These particular parts have indicators that tell you everything you need to know. A little red light shows you that your power pack is charging. When it turns to blue, it's fully charged and you're ready to use it. When you plug your device into the power pack, a blue light will show up on the butt converter, letting you know that you are successfully charging your device. When you unplug it, that blue light will go very dim, but stay on to let you know that there's still enough battery power left to charge another device. Since this phone really needs two amps, it'll fire up trying to charge, but it's either going to charge slow or not at all. However, my iPod and my earbuds charge perfectly 
using this power pack. And that's what I wanted it for. So there you are, power to go. You don't have to worry about your devices running out of power at the wrong time ever again. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY and powering through my video. If you got a charge out of it, or maybe just learned something new along the way, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. And while you're here, I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for future notifications. Feel free to check out my playlists for all kinds of other projects you might be interested in. And as always, please come on back because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.